Today is historical marker day and in Monroe County, a handful of places received recognition. The first was at Duran Eastman Park. The marker there celebrates the legend of the park's mysterious white lady. The story, which takes place in the early 1800s, goes like this. A woman lived in the area in a castle with her daughter. One day, the daughter took a walk down by the lake and never returned. The mother then spent the rest of her life searching for her daughter, and after she died, people walking along the lake on misty nights say they saw a woman all in white gliding over the waves. The only remnant of her legacy was the castle wall. Today, County Executive Adam Bello said despite a few gaps in the story, it still means a lot to the community. We know, of course, that this stone wall is not the remains of a castle, but it's rather a dining hall that was built in 1911 where park visitors would come for refreshments. Folklore can serve as a guide to the mysteries of life as a cautionary tale about the dangers of the world. And so perhaps the story of the White Lady's Ghost began as a warning to young people about the dangers of seeking adventure after dark, the dangers of walking alone at dark along the lake. But folklore is more than just those life lessons. It's about understanding that despite our differences, we all share some universal experiences. And another historical marker placed at the former lab and headquarters of Martha Matilda Harper. It's a tire shop right now. Harper was an indentured servant in Canada who moved to Rochester in the 1880s. She used her life savings to establish a hair care system known as the Harper Method, and she's credited for creating pioneering retail franchising, becoming the first entrepreneur to own an international retail franchise with more than 500 shops worldwide. If you look at this building, you have a woman's name on the front of an early 20th century building, Martha Matilda Harper. Martha Matilda Harper is someone who I don't think most of the world knows about, but they should. I like to say that Martha Matilda Harper is the reason we have McDonald's and Starbucks on every corner in the country and even in the world. And the, the third historical designation, Rapids Cemetery, which is located on Congress Street in Rochester along the Genesee River. The site is one of the few remaining pieces of Castletown, a settlement located on the western banks of the Genesee, which rivaled the nearby community of Rochesterville. The cemetery includes early settlers as well as veteran, veterans of the Revolutionary War, the War of 1812, and the Civil War. Residents of the city's 19th Ward and area veterans have been researching burials and restoring the cemetery over the past several years.